This is the second part of this series, talking about content browser, proxies and camera staging. In this video we will see how we can create proxies for models and modify them to our needs. To keep our SketchUp scene lightweight and low on file size, we need to convert high poly components like trees and cars to external files, while displaying simplified versions of them inside SketchUp. Let's start with a model of a shrub that we have imported in our scene. Right click on it and select Create External Model to open the dialog. Now there are two ways to create the image that will be used as a thumbnail. The first one is by clicking on the From SketchUp button that will screen grab the viewport at the current time. The second one is by clicking on the Render button. An interactive mode like Presto AO is recommended for this. We are now ready to hit the Render button. Thea for SketchUp will start rendering the image. Whenever you feel ready, click again at the Render button from the proxy dialog to capture the image being rendered. Remember that only a square portion of the rendered image will be used, so consider having a point of interest in the center of the viewport. Let's move on to the rest of the settings. The detailed proxy parameter reduces the base model's faces using the number defined here and displays them either as triangles or points. You can see them in action here. This is the model with triangles and this one with points. The Save As Mod SKB parameter creates a file with a low poly representation of the component. If you're going to use just one instance of the object in the scene, then you can untick this parameter. A bounding box can be added if you want by checking the Add Bounding Box option. It is possible to use either the detailed proxy method or the bounding box, but you can also create both of them. In the Replacement Options section, you are given the choice of replacing only the selected component or all of the same components in the scene. We will apply the default settings by clicking on the Save button. Select the location where the external model will be saved with the extension Mod Thea. Since we also check the Save Mod SKP parameter, a file with this extension will also be created. This will be the low poly representation of our external model. Now repeat the same procedure, but this time select the Replace All Instances. Save the file and you will notice that the plugin has replaced all the components in the scene. Let's see how we can create a detailed proxy using Thea Content Browser. Select one or more thumbnails, right-click on the model thumbnail and select Create Proxy Component. In this dialog, select the way the proxy component will be displayed. The small thumbnail represents the proxy model we just created. You can also update it again by right-clicking on the thumbnail and select Update Proxy Component. The same dialog will appear, allowing you to change any of the parameters to your liking. Now double-click on the thumbnail to import the model to our scene. Apart from the automatic proxy creation method, you can use your own models as proxy components. To bring the low poly model inside the proxy component, you can do the following. Using the cut and paste command, 
put the low poly model we have created inside the component. And here you are free to delete everything inside the component. Make sure that the low poly model matches the position of the original one. The final step is for us to exit the component, right click on the proxy model and select the save as command. The file needs to be saved in the same folder as the proxy file and override the existing file if it exists. Open the content browser and select Refresh. From the models category, you will see that the thumbnail now has the low poly model we wanted it to use. Double click on it to see it in action. Let's also start viewport rendering to see the final result. Let's move on and see how to create proxies for geometries that have a basic symmetry like trees for example. The same procedure will be followed, but this time instead of low poly geometry, images are being used inside the proxy component. First thing to do is to enable alpha channel by opening the rendering window and checking alpha from channels tab. This will allow us to save the PNG file with transparency. Next, open Thea tool and select arbitrary for aspect ratio. Change the resolution so it matches the dimension of the model. We will enable parallel projection from the camera menu and move on to the side view. Adjust the view so the model is inside the area and hit render for the first image. Let's save the image as a PNG file. Do the same for the top view and save the image. We are now ready to import these two images inside the scene. Using cut and paste, bring them inside the proxy component and place the two images in their place. Remove any geometry you may not want. You can now exit the component and use the save as command to replace the proxy model. Now by opening and refreshing Thea content browser, you will be able to see the new proxy. Insert it in the scene to have a better look at it. That was all about proxies in Thea for SketchUp. In the third and last part of this series, we will explore camera and scene staging using Thea. Thank you for watching.